the limit when x approaching to negative 2, x plus 2 over x to the third power plus 8. So once again, plugging negative 2 into all the x to see what we get. Right here, we have negative 2 plus 2, we will get 0 on the top. Negative 2 in the parentheses to the third power plus 8, we also get 0 on the bottom. 0 over 0, we have to do more work. And to do more work in this situation, on the top, there's nothing much we can do, right? It's just x plus 2. But then on the denominator, we notice we have x to the third power plus 8. And 8 is like 2 to the third power. We can factor this out. This is the sum of 2 cubes. And recall the formula right here. Notice that a to the third power plus b to the third power, we can factor this out as a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So, by looking at x to the third power plus 8 as the following, we can look at this as x to the third power plus 2 to the third power, and you see that x is like the a, and then 2 is the b. So we can plug in the x and the 2 into the a and b for the formula. x to the third power plus 2 to the third power will become x plus 2 times x squared minus x times 2 plus 2 squared. Once again, I just plug in x into all the a's, and then 2 into all the b's. And of course, we can rewrite this. This is going to be x plus 2 in the front. And then the second parenthesis is x squared minus x times 2 is like the same as 2 times x. So I write it down as 2x. 2 squared is just 4. So this is the factoring for x to the third power plus 8. And we can continue from there. This limit, it's the same as saying, let's look at this as the limit when x approaching to negative 2. On the top, there's nothing much you can do. Let me just write it down, x plus 2. On the bottom, this part, we factor this out as this, which is x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. And then notice that we have the x plus 2 on the top, and that can be canceled with this x plus 2 on the bottom. And then, this is what we're going to live with. This is what we're going to get. This is the limit when x approaching to negative 2, we have a 1 on the top over this x squared minus 2x plus 4, okay? And especially you can solve the, the factor, the common factor on the top and on the bottom, we can already plug in negative 2 into all the x to see what we get. So this is going to be 1 on the top over on the denominator, we will get x squared but x is negative 2, so we have negative 2 to the second power, minus 2 times negative 2, and then plus 4. On the top is 1, on the bottom, this is 4, plus 4, plus 4. So work this out on the bottom, you will get 12. Altogether, we have 1 over 12. It's a nice number, that will be your nice answer. 1 over 12, that's the limit for this, that's it.